Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is part two of the things that I found over the weekend. Um, I went out Saturday for a few hours before I had to take my son to work. So, um, I'll jump right in. Oh, before that, I just want to tell all of you, um, I talked about the cat in my last video or a couple videos ago. We still haven't caught him. We have a trap to catch him with, but he doesn't want to have anything to do with it. So we're still trying to get him at this point, but he's still coming back every day to eat. So fingers crossed that we get him eventually. Uh, okay, I'm going to start off with, of course, my staple, the coffee mugs. Um, I got one on Friday, which I showed in my previous video for 75 cents, and then I bought all these on Saturday. Uh, this one I mainly bought because it said Fitz and Floyd on the bottom. It does have some crazing, as you can see, and then you can see inside it has some crazing and stains in it. But I've sold, you know, chipped and stained and crazed pieces before, so. We'll have to wait and see. I got that for uh, 50 cents. And then I got this one at the same sale. I just thought it was cute for 50 cents. This polar bear family ice skating. That would be me probably falling on my butt. But, and it looks like it's never been used. Um, the Garden Club was having a sale uh, in the American Legion in the, uh, the next town over. So I went there. Some of their prices were really good and some of them not so good. But I did manage to find a few things. And two of the things were mugs. How the bleep did I get to be 50 with this cute question mark handle? This was a quarter. Looks like it's never been used. And then this one from Cornell University. Also looks like it's never been used and I already have a bid on this of $9.99. So this one by itself paid for all the mugs I bought this weekend. Um, and I paid $25 for that too. Then these are the best ones out of the lot. I found this one for $2. This is a um, Polish stoneware piece. Right here it says Momo Panache. And then, I can't pronounce this word, Boleszewik. Um, but a lot of the Polish stoneware has this name on it. There it is. Handmade in Poland. Uh, I paid two bucks. It's a big piece. And usually when you see Polish hand-painted stoneware, uh, you don't find red, white, and blue. It's usually red, white, and yellow, um, something like that. But this was an unusual one, so hoping to have good luck with that. May not sell it till around 4th of July, but I'm sure I'll sell it at some point. And then these were a really good purchase. These are from the Nature's Collage Mug Collection. I think there's eight in the series, but I'm not sure. I got four of them. They're designed by Catherine... McClung and dated 1995. I got four different ones and if you search these on eBay they make these mugs and they also make plates and the mugs are a lot harder to find it seems than the plates. These are the hummingbirds and then the cardinals which this one should be the most popular one. Something about Lennox and cardinals I don't know what it is but people like them. So I bought all four of those for three, and right now I have all of them up for $14.99 a piece. So. so all the mugs except the one from Poland are already up at auction. Then um, went to a sale that wasn't advertised in the paper, but I just saw signs along the road. So I went and I found this little guy, Build-A-Bear with these cute little satin heart PJs. I'll probably wait until, you know, January to put this on for Valentine's Day. It still has the tags on it. That was a buck. Got a Scrabble game there for a buck. And 
got two of these MAC cream eyeshadow palettes for $3 a piece. Um, I don't know if I'll sell them or not. They're going on eBay for about $12.99 a piece. But I might <clears throat> keep one for myself and give the other one to my 16-year-old niece who would absolutely love it. Um, oh, I forgot to show you from yesterday. I got some books at that sale where I got the wetsuit. Mainly bought them because she only wanted a nickel a piece. Um, I was thinking about keeping most of them, but I might sell some. The Top Secret Recipes one from restaurants, I'm probably going to keep that for myself. But you can't beat a nickel for a big cookbook. Christmas cookie book. America's Best Recipes. This is from um, the editors of Cook's Country Magazine, and they also do that show, America's Test Kitchen, on PBS. If any of you watch it, um, or if you like cooking shows and you don't watch it, watch it. That's a great show, America's Test, Test Kitchen. I love it. They have great recipes, and I am the pickiest eater in the world, and I would still eat most of the stuff that they make. But that I'm keeping for myself. And this one, I was surprised about this one. It's paperback. It's um, slow food fast, how to cook things in a pressure cooker. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this or not because I don't have a pressure cooker at the moment. But then when I searched it on eBay, these are going for like 20 bucks a pop, which is surprising for a newer cookbook, especially paperback. So that was a nice surprise. And then this one I bought at a sale on Saturday. Uh, I got to see if my daughter wants it first. Uh, but I could sell it on eBay for maybe $10 and $15. This is one, two, three, draw, super fun stuff. It's five different drawing books all in one. There's a section on wild animals. There's a section on pets and farm animals. There's a section on dinosaurs. There's a section on knights, castles, and dragons, and then cars, trucks, and vehicles. So, a lot of stuff packed into one book for 50 cents. Uh, let's see. Went to sale. The only thing I found were a couple CDs that I'm keeping for myself, like James Taylor Live and um, Journey Escape. I actually got that for my... 16 year old son um, who loves like classic rock and I got this children's living Bible for a dollar it looks like it's never even been cracked open brand new in the box from 1972 and oh at the garden club sale I also got this this was two dollars this is a Dior gift box. It originally had Jador perfume in it because um, there's a sticker on the back that says it did. But it has the pillow in it and everything. I bought it just because it says Dior. I am not one of those designery label kind of people but there are a lot of people on eBay who are and I found another one of these that just sold recently for 20 bucks. Um, it has a very 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 faint mark right here but other than that, it's in really nice shape. I couldn't pass that up. And let's see, after I dropped my son off at work, my daughter and I went to one or two more. And I came across this really nice Art Nouveau bronze finish picture frame. And it's got a really unusual back piece on it instead of the traditional you know, easel, which I thought was neat. It's not bronze. It is bronze finish. Um, I checked over here. I scratched it a little bit and the base metal was white, which means it's spelter and not bronze. But I sold one of these, a similar one. The other one is a little bit more dimensional. Um, I think it was earlier this spring for $31. This one probably won't go nearly that high, but I'll still make a profit on it. This cost me two. found a bottle of proactive toner for a buck. Um, if any of you use this, you know it costs more than a buck. 
I use this and I have one that's sealed upstairs so I'm going to swap it out with this one and sell the brand new one and make some money on it. Then I, <laughs> I'm debating whether to give this to my son or to sell it because I know I could probably make about 30 bucks on it but I also know my son would love it so I'm probably going to end up keeping it for him for Christmas. I saw this sitting on a table and I was like oh that's cool what is it and I'm looking at the top I'm like oh it looks like a lighter. And I'm pressing on this thing and I don't know what, you know, how the heck it works. And the lady didn't know how it worked either. So finally I just was playing around with the helmet and I went like this, pushed it down. And look! It lights! How cool is that? My son's going to flip out over this. But if you guys find these, I paid two bucks for this. Um, they're selling for like 30 some bucks on eBay. The finish, the gold finish is wearing off in spots, but it's still a good quality piece. And my last two finds of the day were at that same house where I got the 123 drawing book. I got this box full of Creative memory stuff. Um, this is a scrapbooking company. They do home shows like uh, Stampin' Up! or Pampered Chef and stuff like that. And their stuff's pretty expensive. I'm not a Creative Memories fan, but uh, some of their stuff is pretty good. But I got the paper trimmer, two of these templates, this is a circle one, this is an oval one that go with these cutters that are down here. Then I got the circle and the oval cutter set with the blades. The green blade unfortunately is missing, but this lot will still sell got a corner punch and then this, this adhesive which I don't think is any good and I'm probably going to have to pitch it. This cutting mat and some miscellaneous like stickers and die cuts. Got everything for five bucks and anyone that knows Creative Memories knows that that's a good price. I should be able to sell this lot for maybe 25 to 35 something like that. Okay. And then my last and final item, which I thought was going to be a home run, but now probably will not, because it doesn't work, is, I'm going to have to back up a little bit here, oh well, I'll just turn it on its side, is this Hamilton Beach, you can see here, um, milkshake blender. It's in jadeite green, which is the color that you want, it's in really good um, well, it's not really good. It's in pretty good shape. It does have some chips in the porcelain. And the guy said it worked, but it doesn't work. This is a model number 933. So I had my husband take a look at it. He's a mechanic and he can fix pr pretty much everything. And he took the top part apart and there's some rust in there and he pretty much told me, um, you know, it's not going to work. So I'm going to put it up and sell it for parts. I saw another one that sold for parts for like 60 some bucks. So since I only paid five, you know, I got to make something on it. Um, and they replaced the plug on it too. And then they duct taped it in there originally. So kind of sad, but at least my husband tried to fix it. Now if it had been my first husband my husband who passed away, I would not have even let him near that with a 10-foot pole. He was a fantastic chef, but mechanically, holy cow, he was beyond pathetic. So, the next time I make a video, I'm going to tell you guys the dishwasher story. Um, this is from when I first, first met my husband before we were married. We had just started living together. It's hysterical. Even my current husband, he loves that story. He makes me tell it to people all the time because it's just so unbelievable. So that's the cliffhanger for today and I will be back <clears throat> um, probably next week with another haul video. So I'll talk to you soon. Good luck with all your sales and have a great week.